Brought to you in part by Susan Shoot at Exclusive Realtors, servicing South Chicagoland, Northwest Suburbs, Kankakee, and Will County. Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm going to be uh, doing some lowering links on the Tesla. Right now, it's set at medium height. And at that, we are 29 and a half inches. So yeah, 29 and a half. The back is about the same. On the uh, low setting, it is a half inch less than that. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna put it to very high so we can see where that's at. So at the very high setting, we are at 31 inches. I mean, that's a pretty big gap. The back is just under 31. It's about 30 and a three quarters. These are the intuitive links I'm going to use. I already set them to five. I see some people set them at four, some at six. I'm just going to go right in the middle at five. We're going to see where that takes me. I didn't want to drop it super low, but um, we'll see what this does. I, if, I, if I'm if i three quarters of an inch to an inch, I'll be happy with that. And if not, you can just twist this one more turn uh, to gain more. I also measured the lowest point of the splitter on high mode, and it's nine inches. So uh, I'm assuming when I'm done with it, skyjacker uh when i'm done with it it'll be an inch lower than what it was before on the low setting but for high it should i'm assuming it's going to be sitting at about eight inches which should still be plenty if you want to you know park over a you know parking block here's one mounted there was the old one as you can see the length difference Here's the rear one. It's harder to compare because of where it is, but it's shorter. You want to get it off of the control arm first. So unfortunately, I could not get it off with the camera in the way. So what I had to do is get like my arm in this area, and then you take a, you want something back here to have leverage on, so when you, you just tip this up, it pops off. And what you're gonna wanna do is get it on this first. And then just simply push it, and that's it. Let's see if I can do any better back here this one was easier on the other side the back one there got that off can i get to get your hand up in here and then like i said to get this kind of back here so you have an edge to pry on and it just comes right off now they do ask you to put a little bit of you know loctite on the set screw but once this is mounted, uh, you do not have to dismount it anymore. You just loosen the set screw and you can just turn this to raise it or lower it. Let me get this back on the sensor. And that's it. Let's put the wheels back on. So I got the uh, wheels all back on, just ready to put it down. Uh, one thing I will say is you do not have to do this on a lift. I know there's other videos out there. You can do this on the ground, but I have a lift, so it just made sense to do it this way. I'd rather stand up and do it than put this on the ground. So this video, I, was, I think I mentioned, or the one before this, I mentioned forgetting these pucks. And yeah, I did last time. I forgot them last time. I drove down the street and everything with it, and uh, they stayed. 
so I didn't lose any. One cool thing I found out with the lift, most of the cars that put on this lift are a pain in the ass to open the doors. Um, but if you have the full self-driving with the summons feature, you could pull up to the lift, lined up, get out, and then remote with your phone, drive it forward and stop it where you need it. That was like, this is the, that's today was the first time I tried that. I didn't even think about that before, but even in this metal shop, it worked. So now I can pull it in and back it out without like trying to wedge myself inside the car. Well, since I use my phone to record my videos right now, uh, I couldn't show it, but this was me using the summons to back it up. I just stood to the next to the car and just hit the reverse button and it backs out. So I'm not coming across this thing. I can just get right in. So back inside, I have to go to service and take jack mode off. And now the suspension should adjust itself accordingly. So now I have it set to the lowest position. So the rear is sitting just above 28. <clears throat> this is all the way down now. And we're right at 28 on the front. So, on the medium setting, we are sitting at about 28 and a half. And the back, 28 and a half. Okay, so, in very high mode, we are just under, we're about 29 and three quarters. It used to be 31. And the back is right at 30. And the front splitter, lowest point, 8 inches. I think I like the way that looks. I think that's where I'm going to stay. The, so it was a total of 5 millimeters. I think it's like perfect. So and I think it's going to look real good when I get the uh, arachnid wheels back. should get them at the end of next week. And... Uh, I think it'll complete the look I was going for, and I'll just use these wheels here I got for the winter. I just took it for a ride uh, no issues doesn't feel any rougher or anything like that and uh, I'm pretty happy with it um, I know it's dirty but I drive it every day and it's been raining on and off so there's no keeping that thing clean driving that every day this thing's been getting a pretty big break I only take it out when I need to do stuff with the truck but um, I'm figuring out what I'm going to do next to this. Who knows, maybe on the highway there would be a little bit less drag or something like that. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure, but it, it could help, I suppose. But uh, when I get the other wheels, I'll do another video with those and maybe see what the difference is uh, acceleration-wise, because they are actually lighter than the ones that I have on there now. So we'll see what happens. But uh, please like and subscribe, and we will catch you on the next one.